You just finished reading a comic. What's the best social network to post it on? Well, Reddit. Ah! This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics. And today I'm going to show the next four key issue comics that I will be sending out to get graded. I give uh, the prices of what I paid, I always do that so people have an idea of uh, what kind of deals you could possibly get when you're searching for these books. Uh, any significance of the books, and what I think the grade would be. Now, keep in mind, that would be before any pressings and dry cleanings. So, that's why a lot of times I end up undergrading them a little bit, because depending on how much needs pressing and grading, it could actually bring it up a whole point, if not more. So, I'm looking forward to sending these out, and I usually get them back in approximately about three weeks. So, also, before I show them, if you want to use PGX, and that's up to you, I don't tell anybody you have to, or you, it's the only place to go, CGC and CBCS are also great, but I work deal out with PGX for my subscribers, and if you don't know about it, it's in the description, anybody that's subscribed to my channel who wants to use their services can get 10% off of the um, price, that doesn't include shipping and handling insurance, please keep that in mind, but it does include... The grading process, no matter what grade it is, modern or all the way to golden age, it includes pressings and dry cleanings to get the discount, and also signature verification. So keep that in mind if you want to do it. The code is in the description, and uh, use it if you want to. And my cat seems very excited about that. Seems my cat wants to be in the videos a lot lately. So when he moves his uh, rear axle out of the way, oh, he's such a ham. Never shows his face, but he likes to show the other end. Let's show the four comics that I will be sending out to be graded. Okay. And let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a closer look at the cat. <laughs> Come on, Orgon. Oh, he's such a ham. Now, obviously, you could see this is Werewolf by Night. This is issue number 32, which is the first appearance of the Moon Knight. Great book to have. Uh, this is one of those books I used my eBay bucks way back when. So I only paid a total of $33.25 for this book. So it could literally come back a 0.5 restored. And I could still make out on this book. So I'm not worried about the grade. I just wanted to preserve it. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of spinal ticks along the spine of my cat. He's in his mood. So there's a lot of spinal ticks. You could see right here, there is a little bit of a dog ear bend. No loss of the paper, just the color break. There's a color blur break along here, checked inside. All the coupons are intact and all that other fun stuff. Sorry about that. But, I mean, like I said, I paid under $40 for this book, so I'm not going to complain whatever the grade is. Um, I'm going to predict this is going to come out to roughly about a 3.0 to a, maybe a 3.5. Um, pressing is not really going to help this book because obviously with all those color breaks, pressing can't do anything about that. But it may help flatten out. There's a little bit of that indent, and that's probably when people stack the books on top of each other, and it causes that little indent, so pressing will help that. All right, so let's get to the next one. All right, next book we have... <laughs> Cat is comic blocking. Green Lantern issue number one. Now, that obviously is not the first appearance of the Green Lantern or anything like that, but it is the first in his own individual series. Um, this book has some water damage where I'm not sure how good a pressing will fix this, but there will definitely be some improvement. There's a lot of wrinkling here, but it's only this area right here. Other than that, looks pretty good. There is some creases here where it breaks color along the top. You could see it's a little 
got some jaggedy edges. I mean, that's normal with a book this old. But colors look pretty good. There is what's called a subscription crease that goes all the way down, which means if this was perfect in every other way, that spinal crease would give it a maximum of a 5.0. So um, the highest you can get with this kind of subscription crease would be a 5.0, but it's definitely not going to be that high. Um, I paid a total of $405 for this book, and of course that includes shipping and handling always. So I didn't pay a bad price for this book. Even in lower grade, this book is pretty expensive. Um, I would predict it's going to be around a 3.0 to a 3.5. I'm curious to see uh, what the pressing can do with that, if it can get rid of it or just kind of slightly make it better. I guess we'll find out in about a month from now. And Oregon, can you show at least your other end? You know, I'm sure people would at least appreciate the right side and not the back side. Oh, gotta love cats sometimes. All right, so the next one is definitely a low-grade book. Cat's making it a lot more surprising this way, but definitely a book I want to get preserved. Now, if you know a lot of people, well, I'm not going to say a lot of people, but you know there's plenty of people out there that are grading their books for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to try and sell it for the highest profit available. And that's one of the reasons why most people tend to recommend CGC. I mean, there's plenty of other reasons. We're not even going to get to that here. But for me, this book is a complete low grade. But keeping it slabbed is going to keep it from getting worse. Because if you notice, and this, of course, is Amazing Spider-Man number two, which is the first appearance of the Vulture. This is definitely a key issue. It's missing a piece here. Right here, there's a big tear that's missing. Same right here and right here. The staples are intact. It's missing a piece there. So this is a lower grade. But putting this in a slab is going to keep this from getting worse. And that, to me, is one of the biggest and best reasons to get your comics slabbed. Yes, it will increase your value of your books. It's also going to let you know, for the most part, if something... You know, because obviously it is due to uh, the individuals who are inspecting it, their own personal opinion of a grade. But to me, if I'm going to get a book slab just because I want to protect it, well, don't I want the best price? And people could say whatever they want, but PGX offers the best price for these kind of books. So I want to preserve it so it keeps it from getting worse. Why you get your book slabbed? Each person has their own different reasons. So there really isn't a wrong one. That's why I really can't understand some of the hatred that goes around. But hey, if people want to be angry, that's fine. But this is a book I absolutely think that slabbing it will protect it. It will just be able to have me display it more without having to worry about, you know, is the staples going to get ruined? Is it going to get, you know, knocked all over the place? Slabbing is going to protect it. So I paid $209 and... What did I write? $209.20. So even in a low grade, I got this for a steal. No buts about it. No pun intended, or maybe there was. Um, uh, this was just, just one of those. I was shocked that even in a low grade, I got this. Because even in a 1.0, this book sells for like $450 to $500. So very happy to get this book. But I'm going to definitely say it's a low grade. I'm not going to beat around the bush. You know, overall, the cover presents itself, even with these. It almost kind of hides it a little well. But I'm mainly getting this one graded because I want it protected. So I'm going to predict it's probably going to be a 1.0 to maybe a 1.8 pushing it. We'll see what happens. But uh, this one will absolutely benefit from being slabbed. That one I will not be getting pressed or graded because I don't want to mess it up. Because the staples are hanging on. It's also the first tinkerer, but, you know, not many people care about that. <clears throat> All right. Last but not least, I got a Golden Age book I cannot wait to send in. And this is Superman issue number 13. Now, there's a lot of significance to this book that all three companies have missed. I think recently I saw one on CBCS that got it closest. But for some reason, all three companies, and that, yes, includes the Darling CGC, have not indicated what is so significant about this book. I wrote it on the back, because you don't want to assume the company knows, because obviously if you see some of these graded, they don't mention these things. 
Uh, this book came out in 1941. As you could see, I paid $360.99 for this book. It does have tape along the edge. That's perfectly fine. It does not bother me, especially for a Golden Age book. It has a Luther appearance, but here's the key. This is the first full appearance of Jimmy Olsen, because this is the first time his name was ever used. Before that, he was known only as the office boy. So this book is the first time Jimmy Olsen is referred to as Jimmy. So the first time they gave him a name. So that is pretty significant because Jimmy Olsen is a major character of the Superman franchise. Unless you watch the uh, Batman v Superman, then they basically, you know, angered a lot of fans with that, especially when you didn't realize who it was. I mean, that was a poor job on their behalf. But I would say this book, again, lower grade, but again, I don't care. I want to preserve this book. A pressing will help this because there is a little bit of indenting along here. Um, again, tape on the spine, that's perfectly fine. Tape is not considered restoration, but it will be indicated on the uh, slab that there is tape, but obviously, you know, that's not any surprise. A couple of rips here and there. I think a dry cleaning will help this book. I'm not sure if they will do it on such an old book. I'll let them determine it. But I paid, like I said, $360.99. I'll predict this about a 1.5 to a 2.0. And um, even if it comes back a 1.0, I will still be happy because to me, this is a very iconic book. The earliest Superman I own, and maybe, well, actually, I have a Superman number two, but it's coverless. But this is the one with the earliest with the original cover. Because, you know, you're talking thousands of dollars for some of these books. So this is another book I cannot wait to get back. Looking forward to it. And like I said, it usually takes from me shipping it out to me getting it back takes about three weeks. And uh, we'll have the next unboxing video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you appreciated it. If you like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to wait until the end of the month where I do every unboxing video from the previous four books that I had sent out. Um, I don't know what the grades are, so I find out with you. And I always do that live. And um, if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and be a part of this channel. Because it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next video. And to me... Number 13 is going to be a very lucky number.